What's up YouTube? Today we're going to look at how to create a namespace and a mosaic using the Nano Wallet. It's been a minute since my last instructional video, but I was waiting for the latest release of the Nano Wallet, which is currently on 1.4.13. And this can be downloaded from the new nem.io website. You can see it here at nem.io, where they've redesigned their website and changed it up a little bit. It looks a lot nicer, it looks a lot more colorful, or a lot lighter than it used to be. I, I don't really like the hamburger, but uh, it is what it is. So now you gotta click and go to Get Wallet, go to the NEM Downloads, and click the Universal Client. You can see that I've already downloaded it. From here, I go back to my wallet, and it picks up where I last left off. So I'm going to load up my test wallet and sign on in. That's right, you have to click on it. And you can see that I haven't really done any new transactions since the last video. So what we're going to do using the new version is go to services and create namespace. So you can see I have an existing one that I've already tested and for you it's going to look at new root namespace. And you can see that the cost is 100 zem. So as I mentioned earlier, I waited for the new release so that the fees would reduce because before the fee for rental fee for a namespace was significantly higher. At 100 zem, it's a little bit more reasonable at about $30 where the current pricing is. From here, we're going to name a new one. I'm going to call it IKEONet1 to represent my YouTube channel. I'm going to enter in my password to create it. And you can see that the rental fee is 100 zem and it, the transaction fee is 0.15 Zen. And one of the reasons why you would want a namespace like this to begin with is to represent whatever you're doing. So for me, it's my channel. So it's IKEONet1. If you own a business, it would be the name of your business. So let's go ahead and register this on the NEM testnet. And keep in mind, this is on the testnet. It isn't on the mainnet, so you won't find it on there. Oh, my password wasn't valid. I was having problems with it because I forgot it for a while. Oh, come on. Oh, that's right, the wrong password. Here we go. There we go. And pretty soon, I should see that reflect on the dashboard. You can see that it's unconfirmed, and it'll confirmed in roughly a minute. That's one of the benefits of the NEM platform is that confirmations go by relatively quickly compared to Bitcoin and other systems. There we go. So now that the transaction has been confirmed, you can see that it cost 100.15 ZEM to rent for one year. And the cost to renew is 10 ZEM. Actually, it's going to be 100 ZEM. And then for the next one, we're going to have to put in a new namespace or a sub namespace. So it looks like I had a little bit of a problem and I'm redoing this video. And instead of creating a second level mosaic, what we're going to do is create that second level namespace. Because it turns out you have to create a mosaic under a namespace and you can't create sub mosaics. So we can go back and create a silver namespace. And from here, we should be able to add the actual asset. So we'll go ahead and do that. And now we should have a namespace called ikeonet1.silver. And under that, we're going to create the cubes. All right, so now you can see the new namespace with ikeonet1.silver. And you can see that it's different from the mosaic because the mosaic has a colon. So we'll go in the services, create a mosaic, and create it now under the new namespace. And we'll call this one the 100 gram cube. And of this, I have a total supply of 20. It's non-divisible. And it's a 100 gram YPS silver cube stamped with IKEO. There we go. And from here, we'll add it in and create the new one. We'll go back. It's unconfirmed. We'll create one more mosaic because I have other ones that I have. We'll do the Ikeo net one silver. This time we'll do the two ounce cube. And we'll say it's a two ounce 
YPS silver cube 0.999 fine silver the two silver two ounce cube and the silver 100 gram cube all right i think the other one just went through yep both went through at the same time and now we have our assets so now i should be able to We'll transfer a mosaic. Now we have our 100 gram cube and two ounce cube. Perfect. We have we'll removed the existing one. We'll attach the two ounce cube. We'll send one and no levy. The mosaic costs 0.05 Zem and it costs 0.05 Zem to include a message as well. So a receipt, so to speak. Yeah, let's do serial number 50. Then uh, let's just go ahead and do it. All right, we just sent it over and that should show the new wallet. Log into the new wallet, see if we get it. And it should show up. Incoming transaction, unconfirmed, here it is, and there it goes. So now that we've received the smart asset, we can see where it's come from and where it's arrived. And you can see that in order to transfer, you also have to transfer a Zem as well, which doesn't show up. So it looks like it gets burned in addition to the fee. One thing to note when you do send these things in is that this is the listing of the current mosaics that you own. But one thing you want to note is that these are public. So when you do something like this, you can see that it was sent and the message is included on the blockchain. So if you want to encrypt it so that people don't see this, make sure that you hit the encrypt message button when you hit send, when you want to transfer a mosaic and you don't want people to see it. Otherwise, once you've created your namespace, you can actually search it in the public blockchain and you can see what it has. You can see I have both. One, I created the wrong mosaic and then one, the silver namespace. So the namespace has the two ounce and the 100 gram cube. If I go back, you can see that this one tells me the, the parameters of the mosaic. So in this case, here's the 100 gram cube. You can see the parameters down one level lower. All right, in this video, we created a namespace and we also created a sub namespace along with a mosaic or a smart asset. In the next video, I'm looking forward to creating an apostle, which is like a notary service to complement the mosaic. And that way we can have sort of a certificate of authenticity to go with the actual transaction of sending the digital asset. If you found this video useful, go ahead and hit that like button and let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see in future videos. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.